We are standing tonight on Michigan Avenue. This magnificent mile serves as the front door to our beautiful city. Here to express our commitment to protect Chicago. This weekend and every weekend, both downtown and in the neighborhoods. Tonight, we are here to test our deployments to downtown so that we can better prevent or stop looting quicker if it's attempted. We want to send a message. If you come downtown or to any one of our retail corridors in the neighborhoods of Chicago to loot, CPD is going to arrest you. If someone is attempting to break a window to loot, CPD is going to arrest you. If you're going in and out of stores that have been broken into in an attempt to loot, CPD is going to arrest you. If you are carrying or transporting merchandise from a store that has been looted, you will be stopped and arrested. We are going to deploy all tactics necessary to prevent and stop looting. If that means deploying stock strips to puncture your tires, if you're caravaning cars to loot, we will disable your cars to prevent the caravans and we will work very hard to do so. If that means deploying tow trucks to impound your cars that are caravanning to loot, CPD will do so. If it means blocking off streets and boxing in caravans of looters, CPD will work to do so. If you get away from us, we will work with our state and our federal partners to find you and punish you. CPD cannot, it cannot tolerate looting in our city. CPD's Detective Division Looting Task Force is working with the FBI to comb through hours of video footage from earlier this week. They are looking for images like these you see here today that will help bring looters and vandals to justice. The website of these videos and pictures launched on yesterday, and these Im images were updated again this afternoon with additional photographs. If anyone can identify any of these offenders, please visit our website or call Area 3 Detectives at 312-744-8263. I'm going to repeat that. Call our area detectives or visit our website. The number to call is 312-744-8263. The Cook County State's Attorney has said she is committed to working with our detectives to prosecute offenders caught committing acts of criminality to the highest extent possible. We are going to deploy the necessary tactics to prevent, stop, and prosecute looters. And we will work tirelessly to get this right for our residents. Thank you, and I'll take any questions. One of the things that we've learned, obviously, is criminals are working with impunity in this city to loot, 
to vandalize and to attack our police officers who are working around the clock to protect this city. And so we are taking a firm stand that we will arrest you. If you get away and escape, we will find you. And so although we learn how brazen these looters are, what I want the looters to learn is how committed we are to not only stopping the looting, but if they escape, working tirelessly to find them, punish them, and prosecute them. I, I, don't, I don't know that there's been a significant difference in our efforts. We are committed, we're dedicated, we work uh, long hours. We've arrested over 100 uh, looters from Sunday. 13 of our officers were injured. Three of our officers were shot at by looters. A security guard was shot in the back by looters. What's different is we want to send a message to these looters, if you're listening, Looters, if you're listening, we are committed to finding you if you escaped and prosecuting you and punishing you for what you did. And we will not, I repeat again, will not tolerate looting in this city. You know, looters have made the point that we, we're, we're larger than you, we're outnumbered. You've heard that in some of the crowds. We'll be back, this, this kind of empty threat. We are committed to deploying our resources as large as we have to be to protect not only our downtown, but also our neighborhood retail corridors. I want to make sure you hear his question because I want uh, the question and the answer to be heard clearly. He asked, what, what is the message that we have to our residents? The residents of Chicago, this is our town. This is our city. And we, the Chicago Police Department, we're committed to protecting this town for you and not letting looters do whatever they want in our city without being held accountable. You will be held accountable. Chicago strong. Chicago strong. This is our town. Ours. Not criminals. Not gangsters. Not thieves. This is not their town. This is our town. And we are committed to protecting it. One of the things that we have to do as the criminal justice system here in Chicago and Cook County is we have to collaborate and work together. We have to be a united force against these looters, these thieves, these criminals. And once we show how strong we are together, I believe in my heart that we will send the right message to these looters, to these criminals. But we must show that you will be prosecuted to the fullest extent of the law and not be let out of jail without any consequences. And, and we as a group, not just police, prosecutors, both state and federal, are committed to making that happen. The question was, are there going to be any different plans uh, this coming week as opposed to previous weekends? A as you know, we've increased our numbers on the street, on the ground, in our downtown area, in our neighborhoods. That's number one, the difference. 
Uh, we have extended our hours that our officers work. We have extended the number of days they work in a week by canceling days off. So there is an increase of a thousand officers above what would normally be here. Of course, long term, we are redirecting all of our resources to have a permanent increased staffing, not only in our downtown areas, but throughout all of our neighborhoods. I'll just reiterate, this is our town. It doesn't belong to the criminals. We gotta stand up to them and we gotta stand together and we've gotta be committed. Just like our officers risk their lives, we want the residents of Chicago to take their town back from these thieves, from these criminals. Don't let these criminals run you out of this beautiful city. Our department, our police officers will risk their lives to protect you. Not in our town. Not in our city. Thank you very much.